So I've been rushing around like an idiot. Uh, oh, we got low lying mist, stroke fog, uh, little pockets, and I don't think it's going to last long as soon as that sun's up. So I'm rushing with our own fern again. Uh, I've took a couple of images on the way down here. I'm seriously in a rush and it's a place I've a part of Owen Fen that I've not oh, gone to and it's a gamble uh, and looking in front of me it might just well pay off I think in the woodland itself we're not going to get the mist but in the open areas we are and that's where I'm heading for look at that mist in front of me uh, oh let me zoom you in Like I say, I've just got a couple of images. Oh, some of the mist is only about a metre high. It's that beautiful morning. It's cold. I haven't put my coat on. It's cold. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. Oh. Oh. I'm cold. I'm cold, I'm rushing around, I'm still cold. It's cold morning. Oh. Slip my coat on quick. <laughs> Thank God I left it in from last time. Don't think I've got any gloves though. <laughs> Hopefully the adrenaline and the excitement keep me a little bit warm. Okay, I've got a dilemma, because I don't know the area. Uh, I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. Uh, what do I do? It all looks lovely though, it all looks lovely. I've just got a gamble, I think. Oh, mountains of gold. Uh, the good thing is, I've got exactly what I wanted. I think I'm going to go a couple of minutes this way. I might even have a look on the map where I am and just decide. I know the sun rises over this way and I want to make sure that sun comes through a little bit. Oh, this is going to be hard. This is going to be an hard one. I'm going to go a little bit that way and then Mark come back and go that way. <laughs> oh, so I've placed it to this open area here. And I may be the wrong side of the ditch. Oh. Like I say, that, that mist is sort of hugging the outer edges of the wood. It's not really getting into the, the woodland. Uh, so, I've tried to get to this outer edge. There is a nice tree here that looks quite nice with it backlit. So I'm gonna walk back, to, back here and see if I can get an image. So I'll switch you on if I do. We've got this, these two trees, one each side, that's sort of framing the image. We've got the mist in the background. We've 
got this crisscross tree in the middle. And it's really the atmosphere that's drawing it to me. It's not really work, it's not the image I'm really after. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to keep moving until I find something. Might even get back in here because this looks quite interesting behind. Got a big, lovely big oak tree just here, sitting here. But I need to go back and back in into the woodland. Okay, let's go, let's go. I walked straight past the bridge. 20 yards the other way. What an idiot. But I found the, found the lake that I was over the other side when I first visited the place. And it's full of mist. It's absolutely full of mist. So I think I'm going to work this little bit for a, a while. Ah, or to take one image. It looks really nice. But I think I'm going to try and walk through here and see if I can just find other areas. Ah. It's quite overgrown round it, so you're just getting little pockets of open bits where you can stick the camera through. <laughs> ah. There's some lovely, some lovely low-lying moving mist, and you're getting these ducks swimming into the scene. And I've got there's an island on the left-hand side, which creates a bit of depth as well. Ah. Oh wow, wow, wow. Very shortly that sun is going to be hitting this lake and it should really give some beautiful light and atmosphere. And then I'll assume it would burn away quite quick. I just don't know if I'm, I'm going to go a little walk down here without the camera and see if there's a little opening that I can find for a better image. So I'll see you in a minute. Very difficult to get through either way. I've only gone 20 yards, but it's very difficult. So I'm going to come back and I'm going to work this comp. There is still some images to be had here. And my main one at the moment is, we've got this beautiful island that the sun's starting to catch with a mist rolling through it. Uh, which I'm going to get an image now, because it's starting to catch the top of the island, the sun is, but we've still got that mist. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to up the ISO so I can get a faster shutter speed. We've got a 60th of a second, 80th of a second we've got. Just in case we get some foul movement. So I can catch them um, as they come through. Let's knock the bracket off. I might just put it on a uh, single shot. And then we might wait for some fowl to just swim on through, which would give that extra element, especially in this foreground bit. But I'm actually getting a reflection. I've got the mist around the island, but I'm getting a reflection. And then we've got this, this, oh, we've got bird, bird. <laughs> just going to come. Come on, swim, swim. They're off flying, I suppose. There we go. Oh, didn't quite get him in the shot. Didn't quite get him. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> um, we've got this, this, this tree canopy that's framing the area. <laughs> it does look absolutely beautiful. We've got some birds coming in on the right hand side. Uh, some ducks, I think they are. Uh, Oh, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> and then what I'm going to try and do is some, some little, um, some little other intricate shots that I might be able to get as the morning develops and the sun comes through. And it's actually coming through now. We're getting some lovely light on the top of the, this island of trees. 
there's another area that I really I'm interested in to photograph and it's at this corner here and this left hand corner as the bird comes in uh, I think we're a couple of ducks well, we're getting some light on the water now as well some beautiful light on the water uh, yeah, I think there's a couple of places if, if I get in close with the long lens, I've got long lens on, I can actually um, pick out some lovely detailed images as well. I think that's what I might do until I think the light's right. Even, oh, the light's, the light's good, the light is good. It's good now, that is nice, that is nice. It's he is. Oh, we've got some birds flying in, so. Oh, that is a scene and a half, that is. I'm just taking a few. Because we've got some birds flying in somewhere. Oh, they're coming behind. But we've got a, we've got a duck on the left-hand side. Swimming in the, obviously in the water. But we've still got this white, um, don't know what bird it is. Uh, just perched in the train because he's white he's just standing out but we've got this beautiful atmosphere in between oh that is beautiful some ducks we've got the ducks where i want them i just want them on the the left oh they're swimming the other way keep going the other way keep going that's it let me drop you down slightly We've got some ducks in the water. It's, it's one of them that everything is aligning beautifully. I'll try and show you with the camera. Actually, what I'll do is I'll record it very quickly for you, the scene. We've got these strips of light that's coming through now. But what's making it for me is that one bird perched in the tree. That one white bird perched in the tree. That scene is typical England. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited. I get, a, I get a lot of comments saying how excited I get. <laughs> it is, oh, the bird's gone, the bird's gone. Genuinely excited. I can't even say the word on that, excited. I honestly do. I think I'm going to change that composition now, now that bird's flew away. And we're going to get a wider scene, I think. Because we've got some beautiful strips of light coming through. So now I'm having it, I'll move back over just centralize it slightly because we've we are framed we still got that as the sun comes through beams through onto the water the mist rises up and you can see all that mist and it's just stunning yeah it's amazing what emotions sunrises and sunsets bring out of me and the mist and the quiet special mornings special special mornings here we go okay i can hear that we've got some birds incoming let's see where they land Here they come. No. Oh, they've gone behind the island. They've gone behind the island. Are they coming back through? They are coming back through. Oh my God, they've landed exactly. And there's another load, there's another load. And there's an image there. If they land in the same place, quick, quick, quick. Yep, 
Here they come. They're going to land the back side. <laughs> On cue. I'm not sure if I've even got the image and even it's, if it's worth it, but... <laughs> We've just had a load of geese flying and I did capture them, but a lot of them are blurred. But that might add to the image. It really might add to the image. I might actually prefer them. Some of them are sharp, some of them are sharpish, and some of them have learned, obviously, the different speeds that they all come in, but there must have been 50 to 100 birds, and they've just, on this side here, <laughs> uh, they've all just come in. I think they've Canadian geese. Um, of all look at them loads of them too many of them <laughs> but they've all flew in and it might make for a something special now then now then now they're playing ball look at that for a scene that is stunning Oh, they're just in where the sun's catching them. Some mornings are just extremely special, and this is one of them. Wow. So, I've got this nice scene in front of me here. And uh, I'm not far back to the van. <laughs> I'm buggered. I'm absolutely buggered. Uh, so, I'm just walking back and I've been looking for more of a woodland shot because I haven't actually really got one yet. Uh, and because I'm wearing out a little bit, I thought that this might make an awesome image here. It's, I almost don't quite know why I like it as well, but I do. I think it's just a, it gets a feeling of the autumn really coming because we've got some beautiful ferns in the, the uh, middle of the image. 
that are starting to just turn colour and um, let me just wipe that. They're just starting to they're just starting to go bronze and yellows and these are the beautiful colours that they go. We've got the, the trees backlit, uh, some lovely trees. Uh, and it's it's just a lovely woodland scene. So I'm gonna uh, I think I'm gonna focus on the the ferns there in the foreground. Bracketed shot F11 ISO 100. Just just love that golden light coming through as well. It really is beautiful golden light. It's that lovely crisp morning. Just come and drive around to this other area which I scouted out before and I know it's only a couple of minute walk because I, I am struggling with me my knees are struggling so but <laughs> I've done about 10,000 steps already so I um, thought I'd come around to this bit try and catch some images before I go home uh, and I've already found one composition we've got this group of trees on the right hand side with this fallen tree coming through the image and then another sort of single tree on the left. Not sure if it's a little bit too busy to be honest, but um, it looks nice, it looks nice. So I'm having that. Uh, now, when I come here, probably about a month ago now, uh, well, three weeks ago, this all this bracken and fern was all green. So it's starting to change. So that, that autumn is starting to kick in. So I'm just going to go walk up here and see if I can find any more images. Uh, definitely a long lens job, this, this area. Well, most of it is, to be honest with you. Because, first of all, you can't get into that. These areas are so dense, you're not supposed to walk off the track anyway. So um, it is a long lens jobby. But I'm just going to spend five, ten minutes walking up here. And then I think I've done. Um, this this is a beautiful little area. The the trees are more spaced out. It's not quite as dense, so you can you got a better chance of picking out the odd one or two groups of trees or single trees that that catch your eye that are interesting. So um, that's what I'm going to do here. I've been a walk up and down this path. Got some images. I will put them up now. That's my dad. Uh, I've enjoyed this one. That one's been uh, very emotional this morning. It was beautiful and and just 
it was just beautiful it was just absolutely beautiful watching the sun rise and burning that mist and the ducks and the the birds as they come onto the water there first thing was just um, worth making the effort again up at five o'clock in the morning to get here for sunrise definitely uh, but yeah i'm done so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it i'll see you soon well, what's making it for me is that one bird perched in the tree that one white bird perched in the tree that scene is typical England. <laughs>